Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you so much for joining me today in this kingpinning video. Now, very quickly, I want to show you guys how you can set up these products that stores like Gosby have made very, very popular and very, very lucrative. Now, if you haven't seen these before, they're very customized products where it's all just separate clip art pieces that you can interchange to create the design that fits who's buying it. So, this is a best friends mug here, and they have a blonde and a redhead, both white girls. So you can think if a dark skin or tan skin or a dark head or someone who enjoys something other than wine or coffee or has different names wants to change that mug, they can do so here as you can see. So girl one, we can say she wants a drink. We'll give her the champagne. She wears dark jeans. Her hair length, we're going to go mid. Shoulder length one, second girl, dark skin, she drinks coffee, doesn't drink the, co the, the Starbucks coffee though, obviously. She likes the short shorts, her hair is going to be bun high, go with that one. Then you can choose the quote on the back side, best friends forever, and preview. This is what our design will look like. So you can see how effective that is to sell a very personalized product. Um, now, this is very simple to do on any Shopify store out there. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. Step one, we can go grab some clip art packs or you can hire a graphic designer to set these things up. You can find many of them on Etsy. In the example here, I grabbed one from Printable Henry and it's just kind of your standard basic pack. It has, you know, 43 items, it says, of different hair, drinks, bottoms, torso color, arms, and so forth. So we bought that packet. We set it up into a Photoshop file so that we have interchangeable files. So we can make this a very manual process where you can come in here and let's say the person selected a blonde hair girl on the right. So we go to right hair. We find the correct hair that fits. I should name these better, right? <laughs> so there's one. and we can customize the entire design here to fit exactly what our product is. Now, secondly, you can set the fulfillment process and the customization sales page process any way you want, but if you're using Shopify, there are some good apps out there. In this case, we're gonna use T in Blue. Now, T in Blue has a great little system to set these up. You can go through by starting by setting up your artwork. This is where you're going to pretty much do exactly how I did in the Photoshop by creating the layers and the different options available in here. So this is for girl two hairstyle. You can see we have the different categories of hairstyles being able to be chosen. And then we also have things like the drink. Sometimes they might want the peace sign instead of the drink sign. So we have to make conditions and this app allows that to be possible. You can see in the drinks here under advanced options, uh, add a condition on if they chose girl number two arm, which would be either the dark or the pale skin, since that's the options I have. Have. But if they're choosing this one, where it has the drink hand instead of the peace hand, that's when this will show up in the options. Now we save all this, you launch your product. Now you have different fulfillment companies that you connect with. So if I'm just with Custom Cat, but there's quite a few out there, and these will allow automatic fulfillment. From here, we set up a campaign within T and Blue, and you're going to connect the product with the, the the artwork that you created. In this case, we have our coffee mug, 11 ounce. I could do a 15 ounce as well. You will want to create an artwork that fits the dimensions for whichever product you have, and you can do whatever product connects here. You can even have it where it's not automatically connected and have just your own products to have this available. Now, here's where you can customize the way things are laid out so that the options are shown in the right places. They're popping up. Um, for example, I had one where he chose the arm style and the drinks was popping up above the girl number one arm. So we had to move that to where it would be below. Same thing with the bottoms. So you can get an idea of what it looks like here. We're going to update view. You can go to our sales page here. This is an example. Um, oh, let's go to an incognito just so you can see without options chosen. So we just have the options here, and this is the page, the layout given to you with T and Blue. Lots of customization and editing can be done with that, but here we'll go ahead and change everything up. Let's say girl number one is Sarah. 
Uh, she'll have dark skin. She's going to hold a drink. We'll give her the margarita with a lime. We'll do the kind of jeans there, faded jeans or whatever. Hairstyle, let me go with shoulder length. We'll go with that one. Girl number two will be Allie. She'll be pale skin with a drink. We'll give her the wine glass. She'll have the black skirt on, and her hairstyle will be a shoulder length. No, we'll go. We already did shoulder length, didn't we? We'll do a braided brown. Now we can have a background where we have two different scenes I created. Also can create just the, the blank white background if they want. We'll go with the beach background, and we'll get our preview. Booyah. There is our design that we could sell. Sarah Alley, best friends, the drinks, everything going. You can see I have a little bit of layers not exactly on point, so I had to go back to my artwork and edit that to make sure that each design is specific to the position it needs to be. And just playing around with that app, you'll you'll understand those little little pieces and things. But I want to give you guys a quick run through of how you can set up these products right now. Now, if I was to order this, that design preview would automatically go to Custom Cat if I wanted. You could also have it set up to where you don't automatically send it to the fulfiller, you manually review, or you could have even where a graphic designer comes in and they make the edit themselves with our file over here that we have set up. You know, we can change it to anything we want, having our design, adding names, and so forth. So you have the manual variation, you have the automatic variation, you have the app. With Shopify, you have all the different pieces that you need to set up these highly customized products that sell very well. Um, these are a back-end product on any of my gift-giving websites and shops because they sell consistently and with a quality design like this, it, it just, they work. Um, so guys, hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I will see you in the next one.